guys welcome back to another tech guru video today we're taking a look at the new Adobe Photoshop CC and this is a beginner tutorial on a basic rundown of the tool so if you've never used Photoshop before or you want to get a little more familiar with the tools within Photoshop this video is for you so let's go ahead and go from the top to the bottom so if you don't know where your tools are located they're gonna be snapped over here to the left side of the screen most likely and all of these tools will have little icons here and right now they probably do not mean that much to you so I'm gonna go ahead and drag them over here a little closer to us so we can get a better look at them so let's go from the top the first tool that you're gonna look at is the move tool now this tool is very self-explanatory uh, it basically moves objects and layers on the screen so if you have a layer selected so I have this rectangular layer selected I can click and hold and drag this rectangle wherever I want to I'm able to do that with the move tool now if you hover over each and every tool you're gonna to see a letter on the outside of that tool that is the hot key so if you don't have anything else selected and you click a key it's gonna select whatever hot key that tool is set to just a little tip there for you the next tool that we are going to see is the marquee tools now in Photoshop CC they've added a couple more with the single row and single column marquee tool but right now you can just look at the rectangular and elliptical marquee tool so what this allows you to do is it allows you to select a version of a photograph so if we go over to our photo here I'm able to draw out a rectangle like so move it where I want to and I can actually delete that part of the photo out by using this selection tool so all the marquee tools are are ways to select portions of a photograph to you then you can further edit by using mask or any other way that you want to edit that part of the photo And in order for you to do all this you've got to make sure your layer over here under the layers panel is unlocked if it has a lock over here you're not going to be able to do any of this so let's go ahead and move back over here and let's go ahead and go to our freeform marquee tools and what this is this is our lasso tool our polygonal lasso tool and our magnetic lasso tool now in Photoshop CC so with the lasso tool you're able to do the same thing we just did with this rectangular marquee tool but you're actually able to draw out the shape that you want to select so now I've drawn around her face here and I'm able to freeform that way if it's not perfectly a rectangle or an ellipse or a circle I can actually go and draw my own shape and select the version of the photograph that I would like to select all of this can be done by using the lasso or the polygonal lasso tool depending on what your needs are let's move back over here and go down to the next tool the next tool is the quick selection tool this is one of my favorite tools in all of Photoshop now the quick selection tool is basically an automated tool that allows you to automatically select very fine-tuned points in a photograph so if I click and hold here I'm able to drag it and I'm able to select very specific areas of a photograph now if I go up here and I change that to where I can deselect it which I can do by going up here and hitting the minus symbol over here it will allow me to then tidy up my selection so if you've seen that you've made a selection a little too far or a little too uh, too much that you wanted to do there you can actually take the minus symbol which is up here and you can go down and you can subtract from that selection so if you want to add to the selection use the addition symbol like so and you'll see your selection growing and getting larger just like this right here and once you've got your selection there you may want to remove some and then you can go to the subtraction tool up here all of that is done with the quick selection tool the next tool that we're gonna look at is the crop tool now the crop tool is fairly self-explanatory you select a version of the photograph that you want to crop so if I select it and I want it to be just like that I will crop it and then go up here to the upper right hand corner of the screen and hit commit to the current crop and there you go you have cropped your image down to what you wanted it to be 
So now that we have looked at the crop tool and the selection tools there, let's go on down to the eyedropper tool. Now there's a few other tools here that Photoshop CC has introduced, but I'm just going to show you the basic tools here is what I was going to do to begin with. And the eyedropper tool is a very, very useful tool. So let's say I want this text to be the exact color that this rectangle is. In order for me to do that, I'll need to select my eyedropper tool from the tools bar over here. Go ahead and click one time on that red color of the rectangle. Now, if it's a photograph and you have a lot of different shades right near each other, you can click and hold and drag up and it'll show you the exact color that you're getting in your eyedropper tool. Now, once we've done that, if you notice down here in our our colors pane, our swatches pane, you're going to see that red has now become available to us. Now all I've got to do is select my text tool, go and select all that text, and then just select that red there, and then hit OK. And now if I check off of it, that text is exactly the same color as that red that I have grabbed with my eyedropper tool. So that's basically how the eyedropper tool works. There's some other nitty gritty stuff down below that, but we're going to stop there for now. The next tool is a few of the healing tools. This is for when you're working with the photograph. So if I'm working with a photograph over here, so I've got this photograph that I have already brought into Photoshop. And if I go over here and go to the spot healing brush, I can go over here and select areas of the photograph and it, it, it'll merge it together. Now with this photograph, it's not going to work. Uh, just because of the way that this photograph is selected here. But if you have a, a, a part of an image that you want to kind of merge together, you want it to look a little more uh, fluid, you can do that by using your spot healing brush. Now, all of these tools here, you can play around with. The red eye tool is very self-explanatory. If you know those photographs where you take pictures of your family and they look like demons and they have those red centers in their eyes, you can actually take this red eye tool, go to the eye, click on it, and it will remove the red eye. Obviously in this picture here, we don't have any red eye, so that's not going to be the case, but in a lot of pictures, it is. So now we're going to hop back over here to this little pane here, and I'm going to show you a few of the brush tools. So the brush tool here is very self-explanatory. You need to make sure you're on a layer that can be edited, a layer that is unlocked, and once you have your brush tool selected, there's a few options that you're going to have here. The first option is up here in the upper hand of the Photoshop screen or panel here. You're going to be able to select your brush type by clicking on that little folder with all of the brushes. And then all of these brush presets will become available to you. So Photoshop is very, very detailed when it comes to the brushes. So I can select a rounded curve brush and it'll actually show me what that stroke will look like when I paint it on my on my uh, canvas here. So let's go ahead and select that one. And then once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and remove the presets there. And you can actually go up here to mode and you can change the mode, which I'm not going to get into that too much today. And then you can actually change the opacity, which is the transparency of that stroke. And you can also change a few other options as well. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color of my brush by just going up here to the color panel and selecting a green color. And then once I've done that, I can now paint just like so with my brush. And this here is going to be the exact stroke that you have selected in your panel. So all of this can be done within Photoshop through the brush tool. Now, the next tool that I'm going to show you is the pencil tool. Now, this may be good for artists, people who are graphic designers. If that is you, this tool is exactly what you're going to be looking for, this and the pen tool. The pencil tool is exactly what you would think it would be. It's a tool that allows you to draw stuff. So if you are an artist and you want to draw something, the pen tool allows you to construct it within Photoshop all by using your mouse or a Wacom uh, tablet or one of those, uh, whatever you may have as an artist that will allow you to go in and draw specific items with the pencil tool. So if we go down here, we're going to see a color replacement tool and a mixer brush tool. I'm not going to go over that right now, but just know those are some extra tools under that panel. Next, let's go to the clone stamp tool and the pattern stamp tool. Now, what is this, you may ask? So the clone stamp tool is a tool that allows you to select an area. So if I select a stroke of my brush or if I select a image or if I select a shape that I have drawn out, I can actually go in here and I can take it and duplicate that and then once I have that, I can stamp that by using the pattern stamp tool on my 
presentation or canvas, whatever you want to call it. So it just allows you to easily duplicate objects and images within Photoshop. The History Brush Tool and Art History Brush Tool are just going to allow you to pull other brushes that you may have saved as presets in previous versions of, of Photoshop, if that was the case, or some that you have used here within this version of Photoshop. The Eraser Tool is very self-explanatory. It looks like an eraser over here. And if we go back over to our image here, I can use the Eraser Tool to go ahead and erase this image. Now, depending on what your image is laying on, if it's a multi-layered project, you're going to erase down to the next layer. But if it's like this image here, you're going to erase down to the core, which is the transparent background. So if you erase on an image like this that doesn't have any other multiple layers, you're going to erase, as you see here, to the transparent background. And if that's what you want, you can do that with the eraser tool. The next tool we're going to look at is the Gradient Tool. The Gradient Tool is an awesome tool. If you like the looks of multicolor, you like to merge colors together, uh, if you're an artist, whatever it may be, the Gradient Tool allows you to merge one color from another. And you can choose presets, you can choose where it comes from, all by looking up here in the upper hand of the Photoshop panel. If we look here and click this down arrow, it allows us to choose a few presets of some colors that we've selected. So I'll do the nice orange and yellow here. You can even choose where the gradient comes from. So here is going from left to right. Here it's going from the center all the way to the outside of it. That's called a radial gradient. Or you can go for the nice angle gradient. You might want the reflected gradient. You choose up here. Play around with these. See what you like. You can even change the mode, opacity, just like you would anything else. And then once you've done that, make sure you've selected an unlocked layer. And then you'll drag a line where you want that gradient to go. So I'll drag it across my whole screen here and that applies that gradient that I have selected up here. If you want to change the color of the gradient, all you would need to do is just go up there to the upper left hand corner of the screen there and you will see the option to uh, change the colors once you pull up the gradient editor here. You can choose the foreground color, you can choose the middle color, you can even add other colors. So if you would like to have three or four multiple colors, you can just drag those on the timeline there. Now, the next thing that I am going to show you, the next set of tools, are actually photo editing tools directly. They're called the Blur, Sharpen, and Smudge tool. Now, the Blur tool, uh, as it's selected there, I have uh, made it larger by going up in the upper left-hand side of the screen there and just adjusting the size. So you'll just select the uh, option up here, and it'll show you uh, a little... Uh, selector here where you can drag it to either make it smaller or larger and this applies to all brushes within Photoshop and then once I have that selected there I can go ahead and go on to my photograph and as you see as I'm holding down and clicking over certain areas of the photograph that area of the photo is becoming blurred. Now this can be used in multiple uh, funny ways in photographs or you may need it uh, in a professional photograph that you are editing within Photoshop. The next tool is the sharpen tool here and I'm gonna go ahead and make that brush a little bigger just like I did the other one and as you notice there anything that I highlight and select and brush over becomes a little more clear and becomes a little more in the forefront there so that is the sharpen tool over there and the next tool is the smudge tool this one's more of a fun tool uh, there are purposes for it but you just select and hold there and drag certain things together and you can even merge specific areas of a photo the next thing I'm going to show you is another set of tools here, the Dodge and Burn tools. Now, the Dodge and Burn tools do two separate things. When you go and select the Dodge tool and then select an area of the photograph, it'll make the area lighter. If you select the Burn tool here, it will make the area darker. So just remember, if you have a trouble forgetting you know, which ones do what, that the top one lightens and the bottom one darkens. So if that's the case there. So the next tool here is the Pen tool. This is a very crucial tool within the arsenal of tools here within Photoshop. The Pen tool allows you to insert specific points on your canvas like I'm doing here and then connect them together and then by holding you can actually create curves so you can create and draw and trace with this tool magnificently I will actually have a specific tutorial on how to use this tool at a later date within the CC Photoshop here so that is the pen tool and there's so much more you can do with that with adding points m you know manipulating the points removing them and doing all sorts of things with the pen tool
Now I'm going to show you one thing here. At the bottom of the tools panel, you'll see a little hand option there. Now, that hand is very useful when you're working with big projects. So I'm actually going to open up a new panel here, a new project, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in by selecting my little magnifying glass. If you see it down there in the lower left-hand column there, you can actually right-click on the canvas and you can zoom in or zoom out. So you can do that uh, by right-clicking and then go to Fit on Screen, which will fit it perfectly on your screen. Screen, or you can you know make it go to a certain percentile or you can just zoom in or zoom out so you can use that tool very easily that way and the hand tools used to kind of move it around now the text tool here which I'm showing you now uh, is the little T there on the bottom of the tool panel and you can do so much with this you can go up and it's almost like a text editor like if you were in pages from Apple or Microsoft Word from Windows you go up there and you can uh, edit the text style you can edit the bold italic you can center it and do all of that good stuff and the next tool that I'm going to show you is the shape tool under the shape tool you have an absolute awesome list of shapes that you can use the ellipse here as you're seeing and you can actually hold down shift and then drag out and draw a perfect circle that works for the rectangle as well you hold shift drag out and draw a perfect square so back to the hand tool down here at the bottom of the screen if I select that and then I'm zoomed in on a project so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here uh, dramatically and then select the hand tool I can actually click and hold here and drag around the canvas and get to specific points of my project and get more fine-tuning done by being able to zoom in and then using the hand tool to manipulate the, the canvas and get to where I want to go to so that about does it for the basic tools within Photoshop CC. I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, go ahead and help me out by clicking the thumbs up button and liking this video down below. Subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials and technology content just like this. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.